So today I'm going to do the taste transduction pathway. Here's a little thing that Dr. Mask told us not to listen to. That, you know, the tongue isn't set for different tastes. So here are the actual taste modalities. So T1R2 and T1R3 both work together to create sweet taste. T1R1 and T1R3 work together for umami. And then the T2Rs are all bitter taste. And then the epithelium sodium channel is low salt. And the H plus sensitive drip channel is acid. And so these are GPCRs. So they have the second messenger, that kind of pathway. And these are just ion channels. So I put in a scene from Ratatouille where, where I feel like I always think about this when I think of taste, where he's eating the cheese and the and the strawberry together and he has like these little explosions. But, yeah. So an example of the sweet sensing pathway. So here we have our GPCR. Um, most of the pathways are usually like pretty similar or the same, but this one was sweet or bitter, see? So the receptors come, the molecules come, they go into the receptor, G protein's activated, activates PLC, phospholipase C, beta 2, activates DAG, IP3, IP3 um, opens this calcium channel. So it binds the receptor, opens the calcium channel and the endoplasmic reticulum, calcium levels go up. Um, this causes the trypm 5 channel to open, letting in sodium into the cell. This causes depolarization and that's pretty much it. So, oh wait, there's, um, so I want to show that these are the salt and acids. They go into the channel and then sweet bitter umami. They are the G protein pathway. So they both end up doing pretty much the same thing. But yeah, that's pretty much taste. So this actually isn't a neuron though. So it's a taste cell, but it releases calcium. And, oh, calcium releases the neurotransmitter, which activates the neuron.